welcome to the project demonstration of iot health parameters monitoring using blink app as well as getting alert notification to our blink app directly using internet so for that we are going to making use of uh, esp i266 node mcu module and uh, the health parameters which we are going to monitor uh, through iot is like temperature systolic diastolic under bp and uh, heart rate so heart rate and uh, systolic diastolic uh, bp parameters <coughs> will be given from this bp module and temperature we are making use of lm35 so these two are the main input modules to our kit so the main purpose of this project is in order to uh, check the health parameters of quarantine covid 19 patient so continuously so from this system whenever the abnormality is detected or temperature increment or heart rate or uh, these are parameters coming down then automatically we will get the notification alert into our phone and also we will get the notification of whenever the device get, went to offline just now we got the offline notification uh, into our blink app so here the sensors are interfaced so the bp module interfaced to the directly hardware rx pin of node mcu through this module so this is the analog to serial converter it will convert the analog signal which is coming from this bp module to the serial and it will provide the input to our node mcu at rx pin and lm35 is the interface at a0 pin of our module and these two are the main input modules the output modules are 16 by 2 lcd display and the buzzer buzzer at 10th pin and this lcd module interface at d0 d3 d4 and d5 d6 d7 so these are the pins interface to the lcd module and this is a breadboard in order to distribute the 5 volts which is coming from this adapter throughout the modules so from here we are going to provide the input of 230 volts and the output from this usb slot we are getting 5 volts that will be 5 volts will be given to the these modules along with the node mcu so before switching on this kit we need to enable the mobile phone hotspot and uh, just go to your hotspot settings of your phone and there just we need to on the hotspot okay so the hotspot name should be configuration and uh, now just go to project 449h so without any space and without any capital letter save that and the password should be 12345689 after that just on the hotspot along with data also that's very important and after switching on that uh, you just log in to your given credentials that is a blink app so now go to the blink app and uh, log in to your uh, blink app with the given credentials and then after after enabling the hotspot and data i'm repeating after enabling the hotspots as well as data in your phone with the given credentials as we said project 4498 and a password then only switch on the mother uh, power supply to the kit and then there will be a welcome message on your screen and some small beep coming out from this sensor and the light indication on this module and lightly we can get the temperature reading lively so whenever the temperature increased above the crossed of 100 degree fahrenheit then we will get the notification alerts in your phone as well as buzzer alerts okay so when it comes down to normal the buzzer will be off and normal message will be displayed on this lcd screen right and now it is normal condition so the limits we set in our project is temperature for 100 degree fahrenheit and systolic is above 145 is alert and below 105 is alert and diastolic above 95 is alert and below 75 is alert and coming to the heart rate below 60 and above 120 so these are the threshold values which we set in our project just one more time temperature then after we will show you that right so if you didn't open the app also we will get these alerts like notifications in our phone okay and now let us see the bp so for that you no need to install the batteries as i'm repeating no need of any batteries just mount uh, tightly on your wrist at this distance and rest your hand freely don't uh, hold like this or don't force anything just free hand then automatically the pressure will pumping to your uh, handcuff and will measure the pressure once the calculation values be completed then it will send the 1 or 2 heart rate and bp and systolic diastolic same parameters uploaded here and here we can see the heart rate also on the down okay right so if is there any abnormality detected as we discussed previously 
with the parameters so whatever what are the parameters appearing on the screen same thing will be given to the our system also so only main thing is you are not supposed to shake your hand or force anything on your hand while the pumping and releasing the air from the bp machine and you can observe the blink app also it will changes directly right so the data change it and the same data will be appear here and this heart rate also so we can change check this right heart rate as well as temperature and systolic diastolic right thank you